So hi, um, I'm Charlie Love and this is going to be a tutorial for Chrome Enterprise from Apps Events and Acer and today we're going to look at just really setting up password security, standard password security for your Google domain. Um, and this is a really straightforward task, but it's one of the key ones that every admin really should do to set the right security settings for your organization or for the organizational units within your organizational organization. So, you know, choosing maybe you've got an environment that has children as well as staff in it, and you might want to set up different password policies depending on who the user is. So that you can do through the admin console and it's a really straightforward process to do it. So let's have a look at that right now. So to set it up, as you might imagine, here's my admin console and I'm just gonna go down to security. So once I'm in security, I can scroll down and we've got this option for password management. So within here, I can set different password management rules for the different organizational units. So I could choose for admins and for admins, I could enforce strong, a strong password and I could say the length of the password, minimum length, maximum length. We could make it 10 characters, for example. And uh, then I can scroll down and I can say, yep, yeah, next time one of these admins signs in, they're going to have to change their password to enforce that policy. And then if I really want to make sure that we're not going to get that password reuse problem, I can say, nope, you're not allowed to use a previous password. So if there's something you used before, that's it. You're not going to use it again. And we'll let's set a 90 day expiry on that password. So every 90 days, you are going to be forced to change it. So once I've done that, uh, that's my going to be my password policy. I'm going to click save to enforce that and make that happen. So I click save. And now next time those admins sign in, they're going to be hit with that policy. So the same thing, likewise, I can do a similar thing for users, for example, but this time I'm going to allow the password reuse for users. I'm going to say users, well, we're going to say, let's give them 180 days on that password. And uh, we're going to enforce a strong password. Um, so users are required to use strong passwords. Well, maybe not actually. Let's make users, allow you, users can use less strong passwords, but they still have to be eight characters, a maximum of 100. Um, and yeah, we'll enforce that next time. So strong passwords, well, you'll get a little help here. So you can click there to learn more. And it tells you a little bit about strong passwords. So strong password, there's some, some uh, make your password unique, make it longer and memorable, use letters, numbers, and symbols, uh, and avoid using things like change me one, two, three, and uh, password, one, you know, one, two, three, try to use, you've got to use reasonable security around that. So that's a little help article there on strong passwords, if you want to have a read of that. So, um, yeah, so you can set this up for your users and give them a different password policy. So that in a nutshell is how you set up your password management inside your Google domain. You could uh, do it, I'll just cancel that actually. You could do it for the, the root of your domain so that everybody has the same password policy. You can do it, as you saw there, I did it for specific administrators. Um, or I, you could set that up for your users. You can apply it to the OUs that you have in your organization, which is really useful. And finally, if you wanted to revert something back to the original root uh, password policy that you had in place. So for example, if I want to revert this admins back, what, back to the same one as the root here. I can just click on admin and instead of going through this and changing it, I just say inherit. And that now will inherit from the, from the folder above it, uh, whatever password policy I have applied. And um, yeah, that's setting password management inside your Google domain. I'm Charlie Love, and this has been a tutorial brought to you by Apps Events and Acer. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.